this is John from caveupprogramming.com and this is a tutorial on maps in Java. So I think after um, lists, maps are probably, I would say, the most useful of the Java Foundation Collection um, classes. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the most common type of map, which is the hash map. So um, here I am in Eclipse and I've got my main method set up already and I'm going to just create a variable of type hash map here and I'll set it equal to a new hash map and I will do control shift O to add the imports. Now um, maps store pairs of values where one pair is one member of the pair is called the key and the other is called the value. Um, so when you create your map, you have to specify what kinds of objects you want to store in it. And um, you can actually use any kinds of objects for your keys and values. The only thing to watch is that you, if you have um, your own custom objects as the keys in a map, you have to implement the hash code and the equals methods. But leaving that aside here, let's just take a simple case. So I'm going to here say that I want to store in my map um, what should we have? Maybe um, I'm going to store strings keyed by integers. And you'll see how that works in a minute. But here I want to specify integer and string in these um, angle template brackets. And I need to specify that here as well. So whenever you mention the type of the map, basically, you've got to mention what's in it as well. Now I can add um, key value pairs into this map by using a method called put. So um, if I say map.put, um, then I can pass that an integer, let's say um, five, and I can pass it a string. And for, for the sake of simplicity here, I'll just make the strings, the integers, sp spelt out in letters to keep things simple. Um, so, um, and this is basically going to create a lookup table where you can look up in this case, these strings using these, in this case, numbers. So let's have a whole bunch of different entries in this map. And I'll just get, I'll just put a few random different numbers in here. Let's have uh, maybe two. And I'll just make the strings all the um, numbers spelled out in letters. So that it's easy to, easy to remember which one goes with which. Now to, um, once you've got your map, basically now you've got a lookup table. And if you want, uh, for example, the string four here, you can get it using this integer. Whoops, get rid of that. So I can say um, string, I'll call it, I'll call this string variable text, just to give it a name, equals map.get. And to get, I pass the key of the thing I want to get. So the key of this four string here is this number four here. So if I pass that number four, and um, you might you might think, well, these are primitive types, but Java will kind of auto box them with um, kind of non-primitive types. So you can happily use integers um, in your map like this. Um, and now, uh, if I output text like this, it's going to say down here 4. If you try to get a um, value that doesn't exist in your map, um, so I haven't added 1 to my map, then the thing returned, the value returned, will be null. And um, another interesting case is what happens if you try to add um, an object that has the same key as an existing object. Let's say, for example, here. Um, so at the moment I'm outputting the object, I'm retrieving the object keyed by the object 6. And supposing later on I add something that's uh, keyed with 6 again, so map.put um, 6 and let's say hello. What happens is that um, your second put will just overwrite the first. 
So um, although you can happily have duplicate values in a map, you cannot have duplicate keys. Um, if you try to add a duplicate key, you'll just overwrite your previous key, which is fine um, if that's what you want to do. Um, so that's um, putting and getting is basically the essence of maps, and there's not a whole lot more to them. But sometimes you might want to iterate over all the um, key value pairs in a map, and you can do that using a slightly strange syntax. I'll use a so-called for each loop here. I'll type for. And um, now the type of each key value pair is actually, I'm going to use the map interface, and it's actually map dot entry and then in angle brackets you need to specify again the type of things the type of the key value pairs in your map like this and I'll declare I'm basically I'm declaring a variable of the type map dot entry integer string so let's call this uh, entry and put a colon there because this is a normal for each loop and here I put the thing that I want to iterate through, map, and um, entry set, like this. So this is quite complex, and um, the first few times I used this, um, I just used to copy and paste it off Google. You know, if you search for, like, iterating through a map, Java, or something like that, you'll, you'll certainly come up with this. And then let's do Control shift o because I need to add the import for map there. And um, and now I can get the value, sorry, and get the key by saying, well, the key is an integer, so let's say um, int, um, I could use int or the class integer, it, does, it doesn't matter here. I could say int key equals um, and entry, so that's, that's the variable that I declared here, entry dot get key like this. Um, and um, I can get the value in a similar way. I can say um, string value equals entry dot get value, like that. And so now if I output these, let's say um, you'll, you'll see that it really is just like a lookup table. Let's output key here. And I'll put a, I'll concatenate a um, some punctuation here and then plus value so if I run this it's going to give me all the keys and values in my map down here let's just maybe see if I can expand that a bit so the six is just coming out from this this out I have up here and then we're iterating through all the keys and values in the map now one thing that you really must pay attention to um, because it'll introduce horrible bugs into your code if you don't um, hash map is not sorted in any way so um, you can't if you iterate through this one time and you get this order next time you iterate through it it may be the same um, but it equally might not be and in fact um, I've seen you know quite complex programs where this has worked repeatedly many times and then like the hundredth time it just randomly changes order and doesn't work. So you always have to bear in mind that a hash map does not maintain order. And in the next tutorial we'll look at a couple of types of maps that do um, maintain some kind of order. But that's all you really need to know for the moment for hash map. So um, join me again next time when, as I say, we'll look at more different kinds of maps and we'll also look at the map interface in itself um, a bit more um, and uh, you can find this code on caveofprogramming.com which is all one word so until next time happy coding